Hey guys, I'm back again. I wanted to show you guys a little bit of something about what I've been working on for a little while now. I just picked up something I think you guys are really going to like. It's something new to the channel again. So let's take a look at it. I just picked it up today. That's right. It's a cargo trailer for the Jeep. No, I'm just kidding. There's a lot more to this than what it looks like. Let's flip the camera around. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, guys. So I do have the Jeep hooked up to the cargo trailer. Uh, this is something I just picked up. Um, it's a custom build and wanted to show you guys inside as you can see there's a window and a power port on the side there and the reason why is because what we have here is a custom built camper for us for the uh, weekend trips away so let's go in and take a look all right guys so we have the uh, three drawers there we have a little cubby hole with a, a mirror there and some shelves this is a mini split system, so it's uh, got heat and cool in there. Uh, this is a full size bed and a twin bed, wood paneling, and you can see quite a bit of space here. So this trailer is a 6,000 pound capacity trailer, cargo camper, uh, but the tongue weight is about 300 pounds right now. And the, um, the trailer itself is uh, weighing in at roughly around 3,000 pounds with what's in it currently. Uh, so you can see here there's quite a bit of room. Uh, this is the uh, running sink. There is uh, a power um, for uh, a pump for the water down here. So we've got the pump. We've got a clean water tank of 10 gallons and a gray water tank of 10 gallons right there. Uh, these cabinet doors are not soft close, but the drawers are. So if you look at the drawers and you close, they're soft close so they don't come flying open uh, whenever you guys, when we're driving around and camping. So we've got the custom backsplash, uh, the nice sink. We've got the window. Uh, plenty of storage in this camper. You see the storage up here and these open up this way so you can put things in them and then they automatically close so they won't be flying open whenever you're camping or whenever you're driving. Same with the pantry. So we got quite a bit of room in the pantry there. Uh, sliding doors so they won't come flying open. And then down here you have your fire extinguisher, a couple lamps, your electrical box is back into there. So I got a lot coming up for this camper. Um, some things that I want to do to it. Uh, we do not have heat, um, heated water. Uh, there's no water heater on this. There is no propane. And we do not have any kind of cooktop stove because there's no propane. And then also we do not have a refrigerator or anything like that um, to keep things cool. So I'm going to be working on doing a couple of those things on this camper to where it has a little bit more function and features. But basically, we just wanted to get the camper um, built together so that we can enjoy it. What you don't see here, and I'll put a picture up possibly, this table comes off. The back of the uh, bench folds out, and then we put this mattress pad, foam mattress pad, on the double bed side of what is now uh what was the table is now going to be a full-size bed when you flip that back over uh so sleeps two people here two people there and a person up on the twin top bunk but you can see there is a lot of room in this camper a lot of room it's all um you see the uh the, the air conditioning there you've got the led lights you've got a lot of room so I'm going to be wiring this thing for DC power. It's AC power currently. I am going to wire it for DC power with a couple of uh, deep cycle batteries, as well as um, a mini fridge. And I'm going to probably do some sort of microwave possible in there. But uh, I wanted to show you guys too, the back end of this camper and how it folds down. So the back as well opens up just like this and it pulls down. It is spring loaded obviously. So the back end opens up like that and you have plenty of room back up inside of the camper this way. 
So what I'm thinking of doing is putting a screen, like a one car garage screen in there with the magnet down the middle so you can open it up and walk through. Makes it nice and airy, it opens it up. But then also you can uh, keep the bugs out and keep the screen closed. So uh, that's it guys. So that's something special for the channel that we're gonna be working on. I'm really happy with this build. I really like how it turned out. Uh, exactly what we needed. Needed to sleep five people, but also needed an RV camper that did not uh, have any problems being towed by the Jeep. So I'll show you a profile shot of this. Uh, it's quite large. Uh, the Jeep tows it fine though, no issues, like I said. In its current state, it's 3,000 pounds and a 300 ton weight. You can see the Jeep does not have a weight distribution hitch on it just yet, but it's not squatting hardly at all either. Now I did take off the tire back there, uh, just bringing this home because there is a tongue jack on here that is a manual tongue jack and my spare tire is here kind of gets in the way a little bit of cranking that so i gotta get an electric tongue jack to put on uh wire that in to run off of dc with the seven pin charging the dc batteries but uh there it is so yeah it's uh something we're very very excited about and Hopefully we have a lot of adventures in this camper. So there you go, guys. I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions. Uh, shoot me uh, comments down below, like this video, make sure you subscribe so you can see all of our adventures in our nice new camper. I think we're gonna call it the Beehive. Uh, it's a little nickname for it. So uh, yeah, any questions, let me know. All right, guys, we'll see you later on.